Hey guys, Harley here from Cycling Harley. Just wanted to do an update on the how to wax your chain video uh, that I've done previously. A few cycling buddies of mine have uh, told me a few extra little tricks uh, which I just wanted to share with you. And also uh, from trial and error, I've picked up a few extra little bits and pieces as well. So I just wanted to go through that with you, uh, do a bit more of a short, sharp uh, how to wax your chain vid uh, compared to last one, it's a bit long-winded. So here it is, if you haven't waxed your chain before, strongly recommend that you give it a crack uh, or buy one that's already been done or something just so you can see the differences that it makes because um, I'm certainly not going back to anything uh, less than waxing um, unless something else comes out but definitely not going back to the old oil lube and um, and degreaser and stuff so check it out uh, please remember to like and subscribe if you like this stuff it really helps me out and my channel um, getting out to other people and uh, have a look any questions comment below and uh, hope you enjoy it so you can see on this chain here um, it's about 200 to 300 k's old um, you can see all the old wax that's come off the chain. Still sounds really good. Now you can't notice that it needs to be redone, but rather than uh, wait until I'm halfway through a ride and I can hear it squeaking and starting to go, I like to do it um, fresh so I just don't have that issue. And that's somewhere between two and 300 Ks. So first of all, what we do is you wanna just use the chain checker just to make sure you've got plenty of life in your chain, so you know that it's worthwhile doing. Then you want to locate um, the quick link. Now, the these are those Connex quick links, which are, are really good. You can use them and reuse them multiple times. Some chains recommend that you don't use them more than once, or, or, or you know, release them and, and use the lock again more than once. These you can use them over and over, and they, they last really well. Then we want to undo the chain. And you want the quick link down the bottom because you'll remove the chain upwards afterwards. If you release it here, it, it comes down and drops and you can you know, scratch your bike, etc. Add a bit of wax and grease remover. So this tip here about the boiling chain, this came from one of my cycling buddies who um, made a good point. It's because it's metal, it's, you know, you're not gonna overcook it. <laughs> so boiling it is probably even better than, you know, putting boiling, just tipping boiling water over it to get rid of the grease. And then it's just to rinse off with the water just to get rid of any of that grease and wax remover. So then we're just threading it onto the chain tool. All right, here's my slow cooker here. So this is the other thing I wanted to show you is the temperature. So on my last one, I had it up around 80 degrees. It's gotta be over 90 preferably for me around about 100. I'll just show you why. This is on 102. Once you give it a swirl around, you'll hear and see all the bubbles coming out of the links in between. If it's not hot enough, it doesn't bubble like that, which means if it's not bubbling like that, there's air still trapped inside the links, which means the wax isn't getting in. So the heat is the big one. From 80 degrees to at least 90, 95, for me, about 100, and it starts to do that. So when you've pulled the chain out of the wax mix and you've let it dry, it goes very rigid and stiff like this. And you have to actually go through and loosen all the links in the chain so that they move both ways so that they can go around the drivetrain freely. And I use the side of this old chair, just wrap it around and pull it, um, and that does the trick. And it's just a matter of linking the chain back up. Now with this part, you wanna just give it a few revolutions to make sure that there's no stuck. So you can see here, as it's going around, there's stuck teeth. So you've got to identify where they are. When they come through, just a matter of going through the links and giving them a bit of an extra turn. 
for the ones that were a bit stuck. So this is why you test it while it's on the stand, rather than just going out on the road and doing it. Go all the way around, just make sure that they're all gonna turn. Well, there you have it. That's how I wax my chain. A few little extra tips and tricks I've learned uh, since my last video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and go out and uh, give it a crack and, and try waxing a chain for yourself. I don't think you'll regret it. Uh, until next time, take it easy.